Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and I am coming to you today to confess my confession about Dave Ramsey. Stay tuned. All right, Butterflies. Um, I haven't really posted a whole lot since I came back from Jamaica. Thank you to everyone who was kind enough to wish me a happy birthday. Um, even that particular um, video was a little bit late. Um, one, because I've been struggling. I've been struggling a lot with life. I um, been struggling with weight. I've been struggling with finances. I've been struggling with everything. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if it has something. Right after I came back, not long after I came back, Brianna left. Um, she moved in um, with her sister and the boyfriends, um, which was their choice. And I have... Um, had a hard time because my whole life has been their mother and I am struggling to figure out who I am. So um, the best way that I know how to cope, um, other than my Bob Marley's <laughs> in Jamaica, normally I don't drink. Um, I don't do any kind of recreational drugs. I eat and I spend. Now, I'm not going to go buy a expensive pair of um, shoes or a handbag. I'm going to organize. I am going to go to Walmart. I am going to go to Dollar Tree. I'm going to go to Michael's. I'm going to organize. So, I am um, trying my best to the dogs are working. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm trying my best to figure out how to get back on my footing. Several of you have reached out and shared your stories with me. And I've written back to you individually. And unless you were reading the comments, you may not even know that I had been kind of falling off of the wagon on things. But even, you know, some comments in Ditching the Debt or healthy lifestyle Facebook groups. I've kind of talked about it a little bit and you guys have been so therapeutic to me and I truly appreciate it. A butterfly tonight though, um, I was just reading her comment and it struck me. Um, I'm not going to read her comment because I didn't get her permission, um, even though it is on social media, but just out of respect. But she just basically said there was some life-changing events that took place. They were on baby step six. They went back to baby step three um, because um, some life-changing events, um, a passing of someone close to her and um, some other things that had actually was very expensive and I was just so proud that they were able to cash flow um, this even though I was so sad for her loss um, but it 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 made me understand the reason that I was doing this I have felt so bad and after I fell off of the wagon was um, after Tank got sick and I had to use my emergency fund. And instead of me getting back on the horse, it was just like I do with trying to eat healthy. I make one bad mistake and I completely fall off and I'm going to start back Monday and I'm going to start back, you know, and, and I never start back. Um, today is July 1st, 2018. And I'm getting ready to go and do my July budget. I have to do my July budget because I owe it to myself. I can't 
keep hiding behind trying to spend and trying to eat everything and I haven't been to the gym since before I left maybe a week before I left um, and like I said five dollars here ten dollars here twenty dollars here y'all know it adds up and I'm thinking oh you know it's just a little bit here a little bit there and then you turn around and you're in the deficit you know and I don't want to live like that anymore you know I I don't want to live like that anymore I just really want to be able to see this through um if I don't catch this now, if I don't catch this now, just like the butterfly said, she said something about uh, um, some kind of home repair and then there was her loss. If I don't catch this, I won't be prepared. I won't even have the thousand. So I'm going to go off course just a little bit. And being a single mom, I'm not sure a thousand is enough. So I'm going to as quickly as I can get the thousand dollars back in the bank, but I'm going to continue to set aside a certain amount each paycheck. So therefore I can feel a little bit more secure. Um, I don't want you guys to stray. Um, I want you to follow Dave Ramsey as closely as you possibly can. For my own peace, I have to have more than $1,000. If I would have had $1,500, $2,000, and I knew that the threshold was 1000 to you know keep paying on my debt, then guess what? I would have just gone ahead, continued, and would not have fallen off the wagon. But because it put a dent in that 1000 I promise you that's what threw me off. So would I do anything differently? No, I love my baby. Um, he's doing much better. Um, but the bottom line is house, car, animals, my kids, um, any kind of emergency could take place. And I have to be prepared. So I just wanted to come back to you guys and I guess do a rededication Please continue to um, reach out to me, share your stories. I appreciate every one of you. We're up over 400 people now, and I know that's not a lot to um, a lot of YouTubers, but to me, I just appreciate you guys just tuning in. And because you don't have to, honestly, um, but I, I do appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, I'm going to figure this out one way or the other. So um, continue to pray for me. I'll continue to pray for you guys. Um, continue to share your stories. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We would love to have you a part of the Butterfly family. And um, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And um, just leave me some comments. Um, I just love hearing from you guys and interacting. I do read literally every comment um, and I try to reply to every single comment because I, I'm i just honestly so grateful. So we're going to get back on the bandwagon. I don't have a complete course of action, but I know that that budget, today's July 1st, and that's going to be the first step that I need to do. All right. So... Um, I'll talk to you later, butterflies. I love you so much.